the new controller this time, it has a touch screen here, and you can see information on it here uh, at any time that won't appear on the TV. So on many levels, it's a tool that makes things easier to understand. So by taking advantage of it, we can think about designing bold brand new games. On the other hand, as we had to think about the resulting size of the new controller, I came to think that rather than focusing efforts on just trying to make it slimmer, we should focus more on designing it so that the potential for us to be able to make a variety of new things can be further expanded. Because it has this screen, it's become much easier to understand. And we thought in that case, let's stuff it with features so it could do anything. In a way, it's a classic controller with a screen. Yeah, I think so. You know, it has many faces. If, if you look at it this way, there are two L and R buttons. There are the, the Z buttons and the L and R buttons. And those who don't want it do not need to use it. Yeah, you, you don't have to use them at all. Uh, you can hold it this way or this way and mostly use the touch screen. And here around the bottom of the screen, it has the same layout as the Nintendo 3DS so you're able to go to the home menu with the press of a button. It also has uh, two analog circle pads. You can come up with many ways to play. Another thing is that by having one more screen, it can be used every day and at any time. But also, the way it can be utilized is changing the possibility of games. There's probably a lot of different possibilities in the way that it can be used. You're now able to do much more with it. Miyamoto-san, what kind of impressions did you have? There's a lot to it. You know, games are basically simulations, but it's too much if you try to take it too far and do something that's too true. That's why we've been making a lot of fake play that seems real up until now. The reason for that is there were restrictions that limited what you could do when making the simulation only with a single screen and a controller. You had no other choice but to make it that way. But now it can be more real, or seem more realistic. I think we're able to add more realism in different ways without making the gameplay too difficult. I mean, I laugh at myself about this, but the, the game of golf, I don't play a whole lot of golf at all, so when the golf ball gets stuck in the rough terrain, I don't really understand how tough that is. But if I put this on the floor, it shows images of the ball buried under the grass. I get a sense of how tough it is in the rough. You can look at the ball, you can see what's ahead of you, and look at the ball again and see what's ahead again. You can look down and away as you swing the club. Even with the Wii Remote and how it can be swung like a golf club, you never look down. Until now, at least. That way you look down as you play. It's so fun whether you're the only one doing it or watching someone else play it. You know, it's, it really changes things in baseball, too. Until now, baseball games were more about how to control the professional athletes. But now you actually feel like you're the softball player. And there's a sense of immersion that you're protecting the field. Right. Like this. Yeah, it feels like you're chasing after the ball. So you can run really fast to catch a ball and feel as if you just made a play of the day. So in, in that sense, you can now play in more of a simulation mindset. When you play alone, you probably will be able to just play with a new controller without having to play on the TV. I think so. We can make games that you play only in the palm of your hands, even when something else is on TV. And we can also make entertainment that uses both the TV and the smaller screen. It's up to the designers to decide how to use this based on what is best for the games they're making. The hardware itself has the capability, so the games can be designed both ways. It'll probably be used in many ways. I think so. More than anything, I'm really looking forward to new styles of play in ways we haven't thought of yet. I think this has a lot of possibilities. We showed a glimpse of all the things they can do in the concept video that we showed during the presentation on stage. And there are so many, we're just trying to decide where to begin. So you won't have a shortage of ideas. There won't be a shortage of ideas. There are so many great ideas in sight, you're having a hard time figuring out which one you should start cooking. Yeah, we're still trying to decide. I think as the third-party developers are also thinking up all of their own new ideas, then our vision for the future of the Wii U console will include numerous, numerous ways to play.